This is the black bird and now it's ready to fly. Hello everyone, my name is Tree and today I will show you one of the best paper airplane I ever designed. This plane flies very well, but it's not easy to fall. So if you want to make it, please be patient and follow my instructions step by step. Alright, let's start now. To make the blackbird you need a printing paper. You can use letter size 8 and half 11 inches. If you want to use uh, A4 paper, you try it out. If, if it doesn't work, trim it down to the uh, letter size. Alright. And also you need a ruler and a pen, a pencil. Okay, so let's start now. First step, I will fold the paper in half this way. Second step, I will start from this edge, forward to this edge. Okay, and I repeat the same step for the other side. I'll start from this edge, I will forward to this edge. So make sure that all the edges line up. Okay, and I turn the paper over. Right, I will start from this corner, I fold it to the intersection of this crease in this edge, and also on this corner, I will fold it to the intersection of this crease in this edge. Right, and open the paper, turn it over. Okay, then I'll use my hand, hold two sides of the paper, and just push this crease to the center crease. Okay, and I just push the part down. Right, the next step, open this layer, push on the side. I'll start from this edge. Fold it to the center crease. But before I fold this, I will use my ruler. Right. Okay. And I will start from from the tip here. Right. Start from the tip here. I will estimate about um, more than half an inch. Okay. About three, four of an inch. Okay. Three, four, one inch, right? And then I would start from this point. I will fold it to the center crease, the intersection of the center crease, and this edge. You will see how I do here. Let's see this point. I make a line to show you how to fold this. Okay, let's just fold it in. Estimate about half an inch from this corner, okay, along this edge, okay, half an inch, okay. Then I will estimate about uh, one inch and a half from this point, the intersection of this edge and this edge. Okay. You don't need to use the ruler. But I just use a ruler to show you how I estimate this. Okay. So one inch and a half. Let's go to that point. Okay. Now I'll make the line. So this is what I have. Okay. Now I just fold this part out. Use that crease. 
use this light as a preference. Okay, perfect. And now I just fold the paper like this. And turn the paper over. Okay, fold this part out. All right. Now fold this part down. Okay. See what I have here? Just fold it down. Now make sure that the the, the crease here will match with this crease. So this is really important that you do it slowly. Okay, and then I'll fold this part out and I'll use this edge as a preference. Fold this one out. Okay, and open this part. So that's what we have so far, right? Turn the paper over. Okay. Then you see the edge here. I would use it as a preference to fold this layer in. Okay. Make sure that the edge we're creating match with this edge. This edge on the bottom. You can see here. Go slowly. And I repeat the same step for the other edge. I mean, repeat the same step for the other layer. So, okay, make sure that this edge and this edge match. Okay. Okay. Now this is a difficult part. I will insert this part up this layer into the pocket here. Okay, to hold the uh, the body of the blend. Okay. So when I push in, just push in like this. See how I do it. Okay, so uh, try to push this as much as you can. Okay, and I repeat the same step for the other side. Okay, pull this one in. Push, push this hard. Okay, so the blend will stay stable. Okay, then I turn the paper over. Right. And then next step, I will use my ruler. Okay. But, um, I will estimate about two inches, uh, one inch and a half from the tip here to this point. Okay. So it should be about uh, this is about. It's about one, it's about two inches, okay? Two in. Right. And then I'll estimate about one inch and a quarter from, from the center crease, okay? So that's what I have. I will create a line. you how it will fall. Okay, so that's what we have. Now just fold this part out that I'm doing now. Okay. See what I have. Then just push this part down, okay? So that's what we have so far. Okay. And then next, I will open this part to create a wing. Okay. So basically, I will use the line here. I'll start from the tip here. Okay, then I'll just just forward to this corner okay yeah just just a line to show you you can see a line here okay just pull it out Ok, 
Okay, and I repeat the same step for the other size. it a little bit okay here we go now we will open the stabilizer you can see this part I will open this to create a stabilizer okay and repeat the same step for the other side make sure that your stabilizers stay straight up because it's very important to the direction of the plane okay this is almost done and next step you see this part here I would just fold it diagonally or estimate about um, half an inch from this corner to this point now estimate about um, another half an inch from this um, edge okay it's this part so just fold it out Actually, fold it closer to the edge than half an inch. Then repeat the same step for the other side. So make sure that both sides uh, is uh, even. Okay. All right, and the. Uh, Blackboard is almost finished and then a few more steps you need to do okay so we'll create the uh, elevator to have the plan fly where you see this part here I will use my thumb okay use your nail to fold this part up a little bit you see how, how I fold this this will help elevate the plan when fly so do the same thing for the other side of the plan as well right and uh, you should curve the wing up a little bit as well and um, this is this is very important that you control the stabilizer for it to level right and now for this one more or less so make sure to have your plan fly all right so after you create the stabilizers and the elevator there's another step you can do to make the airplane look even cooler uh, you see this part is look how weird right so just fold this triangle shape down uh, make it parallel with the body part so okay so for it to left and right then just push it in by doing this way um, by doing so you uh, uh, make this part looks yeah uh, looks better and and now the uh, airplane is completed uh, you can play with now you can see uh, this part here this is where you hold the plane then just throw it up at 10 to 30 degrees uh, learn how to control it and make sure that you use uh, regular uh, printing paper do not use construction paper because it's too heavy for the, uh, the plane okay and uh, thank you for watching See you next time. Bye-bye.